Hello and welcome to another Key Smash Studios video. Today we're going to be setting up port forwarding, and I'm going to provide an example of how that might be done. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go down below and you're going to hit that subscribe button because it really does help us. The second thing is you're going to grab the link to portforward.com. And once we're here, we're going to look at all of the routers. So I've already clicked the list of all routers. Click it again. Here you can find almost every single router made today with a step-by-step -step guide on how to port forward. If you don't know what your router is, you go look for where your internet comes into your house or apartment. If you're in a school or a workplace, you're probably not going to be able to have access to your router. But if you're at home, you're going to find the box that looks like any number of these things. There's a ton of different routers. There's a ton, ton of different ways to port forward. But once you find the router, portforwarding.com is going to help you figure out how to port forward. So if you need to port forward for a mail server, a gaming server, whatever it is that you're doing, uh, we're going to find out what your router is, and then we're going to come here to our port forwarding, and we're going to find out how to port forward. So let's say, for example, we have an A-Link router, and you can skip this ad, and we have, I don't know, a BR4 router. It's going to give us a step-by-step -step instruction on how to get into our router. The most common way to get into a router is to go to its direct IP address. Now, every router is going to have a different IP address. Some of them might be 192.168.0.1 or 1.1. They're all going to have different things. For example, the one on the network that I'm on right now is 168.1.254. These IP addresses, it don't actually matter if you show them or not, because these are your internal LAN networks. You just want to avoid showing your external IP address. If you want more information on how a local area network is different from the rest of the internet, I'll put a link right here for that video. Well, once you find your router, you find out what it looks like, you come find its step-by-step -step guide, you're going to come and follow these steps to port forward your router. Now I'm going to show you an example of what this looks like on my personal router. So on this router, I have to go to my firewall. Now every router is going to be a little bit different. Sometimes they'll have a default admin and password. Sometimes they'll have an access code on the side. Whichever it is, if it's the access code on the side, you need to go grab it off the router, take a picture of it with your phone, bring it back to your computer, something like that. If it's a password and username that it's asking for, it's usually set up to a default username and password. So you can just Google, you know, this is my router, what's my default username and password, and be able to log in. So on my particular one, you can see that I have one port set up already. This is for a file service, a GitHub type file service. Uh, but we can set up any number of, of custom service. So I'm going to set up a custom service here. I'm going to call it Minecraft. And we need to know what the port range that we're looking for is within our port forwarding. That's going to change for every different service. If it's a mail service, it'll be a lower port. If it's a gaming service, it's going to have a very specific port. Minecraft's default is 25565. And that's just what the what the base one is. It can be different, that's just the default. So I'm going to set up the port on the default Minecraft port, TCP, UDP, and I'm going to hit add. And we'll be good. So on my router, that's a pretty simple way to set up port forwarding. The next step on mine is to come down here to the application housing entry. I'm going to select that service that I just created as Minecraft, and then I'm going to select from all of the connected devices, whichever computer I want it to port forward to. So, for example, if I want to port forward it to this computer, I just hit add, and you can see that the port has been forwarded to this device until such a time that I delete it. On your router, it's undoubtedly going to look a little bit different. You might have to take the computer, set up external or internal ports, but for the most part, as long as you are following the guide on portforwarding.com, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do for your particular router. It'll give you the default login and password. It will show you which links you need to click to get up to your port forwarding pages, what ports you need to port forward. If you are looking for a specific program, portforwarding.com also has a list of all the different programs 
these are just some of the programs. Some programs it doesn't have, but it's got default ports for a lot of programs for games, services, software, hardware, anything, you name it. It's got the default port. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I'm always more than happy to help. If you have any further questions, you can also find a link in the description for our Discord. We have a questions and support channel in there, and you can come in there and ask away. If you found this to be helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. That really does help us out. If you found this to be really helpful, I'll put a link in the description below for our Patreon. You can support us there. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help us out, and hopefully we'll see you next week.